that this game, it meant a lot for the city of San Diego, these players, but just to be in this position alone, it has to mean something special, not just to us back here in the studio, you guys out over there, but the entire community of San Diego and the whole program. Yeah, it's been an amazing thing. And, you know, looking back on the history of San Diego sports, every time one of our teams gets to the pinnacle event, we run into some team that's just dominant. The Padres against the Tigers in 84, the, the Chargers against the 49ers in the Super Bowl, uh, the Padres getting against the Yankees in 98, yeah. and now tonight, the Aztecs, who had a great team, a lot of maturity, a lot of veteran leadership, and incredible grit in the last three weeks, came up against this UConn team that was just dominant. Uh, but Jake, again, we've talked about it so much, class acts in the locker room. Yeah, and you know, we'll have tons of time to talk about how great that UConn team was and that mm -hmm. the Aztecs didn't shoot the ball all that well tonight. Right. But that's for later down the road. Tonight's about celebrating this incredible team and this mm -hmm. incredible group of guys. When a team like this goes on a run, us in the media, you at home, the fans, you got to take a part of sliver with you as yeah. they go along the way, as they bring you into their journey. And that's mm -hmm. what I love so much about this run is the journey we were brought along with was with a group of amazing guys and awesome. great people in the brotherhood Brotherhood in that locker room was the thing that impressed me most. Throughout all their success, mm -hmm. it was a brotherhood. Throughout tonight, when they struggled and it was sad and it was heartbreaking, it was a brotherhood. It was. And a guy I really love talking to who seems to put everything in perfect perspective for this team was Darion Trammell, and I caught mm -hmm. up with him after the loss. Darion, we, we made a promise that you and I were going to talk about this when it was all over. And I know you guys came up just a little bit short, but what do you think this run, everything you guys did means for the city and the school moving forward? Um, you know, just, I mean, just give, give hope, you know? Like, San Diego State, I feel like no one really expected us to be here. Um, and we were here, and we fought. I feel like we gave them one of the best fights they've had um, in this tournament. Um, that's something to be proud of. And, you know, the fans, they, they, they showed a lot of love. And, I feel like even even now, even the support they gave us before, I feel like now it's going to be amped. You know, just just because they understand like how good we are and, and the things we can ac accomplish. What will you remember about this group of guys, this locker room? Uh, it's a special group. Um, I mean, I've never had a team where the entire team after practice we sit in the locker room for three hours, two hours, just 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 talking and, and joking. You know, like those things are special. Like we're going to have experiences and relationships and and things we talked about in the locker room, just the fun we had together throughout the. Year, entire year we're gonna remember for the rest of our lives you know so I mean that's the special thing about this team is just the relationships we built when you look back on this whole thing the whole entire run right here what do you think you remember most about the basketball aspect of it uh, we sit down a guard uh, we had a special team defensively you know um, and I, I feel like it was it was very hard some games we, we had a lot of ugly wins um, and I've never been a part of anything like that and it's honestly it's fun you know making games ugly and, and winning your games on defense on the defensive end and so, I mean, it's special. Um, and, I mean, our coaches are great. They put us in positions to win all year. Great, ex uh, great game plans, and we just went out and executed them. On behalf of San Diego Aztec fans, you guys were awesome, and you put us through a special run, man. Can't thank you enough. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. I just love the way that kid can put stuff into perspective. Yeah. Young man, I mean, they're yes. all young men in there, and, uh -huh. and he puts things into perspective the right way. He's not wrong, in my opinion, when he says we were the only group of guys that thought we could do this. Mm -hmm. Because going into this year, they were the only group of guys mm -hmm. that thought they could do this. There wasn't a person outside that locker room that thought we would be in that stadium yeah. tonight. Yeah, and I go back to the beginning of the season when preseason they were ranked 17th. And I'm thinking, oh. Finally, we get some respect in the rankings. Let's slowly creep our way up. And then they fell out of the top 25. And I was, you know, rolling my eyes. So I did not think they would. I thought they maybe would get to the Sweet 16, but I just didn't think they would have this run on them. And I appreciate what Darion says. You know, we win ugly. They're yeah. not the Showtime <laughs> Lakers of the 80s. Although a guy that's on the team that can be very Showtime is Keyshot Johnson. He's been a hoot to, to get to interview throughout the last three weeks. And uh, I spent some time with him after the game as well. Keyshot, what are you going to remember about this run and, and what's been the most enjoyable thing about doing the run? Uh, just the hard work, the celebrations. Um, we didn't cut down three nets in the past month, so um, you got to look at the good, good of it. Like, we had a lot of ups and downs, man. So um, just the resilience of, the, of this group, like, we all support each other. Um, we all close on and off the court. Um, win or lose, our bond was going to get tighter, so... Um,
I don't know. I'm just, I'm just proud of my guys. Uh, once again, all glory go to God just to just to experience this whole this whole season that we had. Um, victories, losses, like it's just all a blessing because we, we learn from it. Um, and even young guys like Elijah Sanders and Miles Bird and Cam, they can all they 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 witnessed it. You know, I, I witnessed all the victories from the 30 and two team, and I'm glad that they witnessed this this feeling like that. Now they know what it tastes like, and hopefully they can get it done too. Well, on behalf of the alums, I want to thank you for representing the school and the city well. Are you aware of how much joy you've brought to uh, to the community? Um, I'm not I'm not fully aware, but I'm sure once we get back to San Diego, we'll get a warm welcome. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, sir. And one final question. Is Keyshaw Johnson coming back next year? Um, I'm going to just... I'm gonna just stay in the moment, you know, enjoy this uh, moment in time with my with my teammates. Um, I don't have the answer for that question, uh, honestly. Um, so I just I just want to enjoy this moment with my teammates, um, express to them how how thankful I am of them, how proud I am of them, and um, you know, uh, leave it leave it up to God. You know, I don't I don't really know, so I'm gonna pray on it. And I just had to get back to you with that. Thank you, Shaw. We appreciate your time. Congratulations on an amazing season. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, John. Right. Yes, sir. Well, we look forward to him getting back to us on that, and I, for one, I want him to do what's best for him. But I don't think we've seen the ceiling of that guy's game. No and chance. I think he's got the ability to take games over. And as the selfish alum that I am, Jake, would love to see him come back. But if he doesn't come back, I wish him the best. He's been a great, like all the other guys, a class act representation of San Diego State. And you notice we end every interview we did with these guys kind of thanking them uh, because it was so true. Like that, yep. That's not to show face. That's not to look good. Mm -hmm. on that's because I really appreciated that yeah. these guys let us jump on this incredible <laughs> journey. And I'm yep. sure everybody at home appreciates it, too. I mean, they made a march to remember for all of us, Marcus Greaves. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was amazing. And uh, Cardo Marcella, they hit it right on the head again. An amazing run from them. Can't thank them enough for everything they did, not just for the city of San Diego, for us back here in the studio. We, I mean, we were all in red and black and everything. We were so excited for this. It's been an awesome run. I'm really grateful that we all got to be a part of it. And I really enjoyed that look in the locker room. A lot of mm -hmm. uh, reflection uh, about the whole season, you know, right. not just this one game. Right. It was awesome. They didn't look like it destroyed them. Mm -hmm. Right. It looked like they understood what they they've been through and they were proud of themselves that it should be, right? Still held high. Very they important. Should. We'll exactly. see them again. Thanks, Marcus. All right, we've been talking about it. This team made school history, and after the sting of tonight's loss wears off, it's going to be remembered for a remarkable run. CBS 8's Richard Allen is here now with some of the highlights from this epic season. Richard? And Carlo Marcella, the Aztecs give it their all tonight, and for a while it looked like victory could be within reach. At one point, managing to cut a 12-point deficit to five with just over five minutes left. Unfortunately, that did not last. Here's what SDSU coach Brian Dutcher had to say about tonight's loss and also about the magical season leading up to it. We cut it to five. We were battling, but I mean, this is a really good team that beat us tonight. And like I said, if we find a team that'll beat us, we'll tip our hat to them, and they beat us. They were the better team, and uh, they're deserving national champs. But I love my team. I love my locker room. I just talked about a brotherhood that we have that I've been at San Diego State 24 years, so it's a 24-year brotherhood, and this is a group we'll always be proud of. And... Their family, Juwan Howard's in there. We sat in that same locker room disappointed many years ago, and here he is supporting me. We're family, and once you're family, it is forever. I mean, they're what you want in a college athlete. They're good people, they're good students, and they're good players. And if they're not all three of those, you can't feel good about your effort. I have all that with this team. They represent themselves, their families, and our university with great pride. And we have so much pride in the Aztecs tonight. Now, this was a historic season for the San Diego State program, and we'll have much more on what the Aztecs accomplished to get to this point tonight later on in the show. Carlo and Marcella. Thanks so much, Richard. And despite the loss, San Diego State fans, they are showing their support for the team. Of course they are. We head out to CBSH Jasmine Ramirez. She joins us from near the SDSU campus with where a tough loss couldn't keep a big group of Aztec fans down for very long, could it, Jasmine? Yes, well, we're here at Dirty Birds in the college area, and let me tell you, everyone was just holding their breaths on the edge of their seats throughout that game. It was packed in here. You couldn't even walk through this area. It's cleared out a bit since then, but you can see people are still here, happy, really just proud of the Aztecs, seeing them play.
away, seeing them make it to the championship game. We've been out here talking with a lot of these students who are just so happy to go to school here at San Diego State during this very historic time. Take a listen to what they had to say. I'm super proud. Uh, for the Aztecs to go to the Natty is pretty awesome, but obviously we wanted a different outcome, but still very proud. Yeah, um, I'm really proud of them. It's just like getting this far in the first place is insane for history. So it's history in the making. We got as far as we could, you know. Describe what it's like being a I'm a freshman here. This is like my first like semester here, so like this is really cool to be a part of this. And like I've always seen college teams going on making like the championship, and it was really nice having my team be that team. So yeah, so I'm a junior at state, and so um, just being around the basketball team, they're a good group of guys. So for them to have the opportunity, super proud, and I feel like they represent the school very well. Another thing everyone kept bringing up was how now they're just looking forward to the future, looking forward to next year, next season. Hopefully the Aztecs can pull it off and do something similar to this year. I'm going to go ahead and send things back to you all in the studio. Similar and then win it. Thanks, Jasmine. <laughs> oh, we're also out in the South Bay where generations of Aztecs fans turned out strong. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe joins us live from Novo Brazil Brewing in Chula Vista. Rocio, uh, really active when we checked in with you last hour. What's the feeling like there now? A lot of people headed home? Yeah, that's right. I mean, you can take a look inside. There's still some fans in the background, but for the most part, a lot of them have headed home this evening. But let me tell you, there were so many people here at one point that you couldn't even move around. You couldn't even find a seat anywhere jam packed with people. We do want to show you this one clip of how fans were watching those final moments of this game earlier here today. Now check out this video. This is from earlier as fans watched SDSU take on UConn. Obviously, again, not the outcome that any of us all uh, wanted here tonight, but it doesn't even matter. You know why? Because fans say the team made the city proud, and that's all that should really matter at the end of the day. They showed the world they have the talent, the unrelenting determination, and the confidence to really go up against any opponent. I mean, we beat Alabama, so we made it this far. We made it to the national championship. We caught up with fans right after that game. Listen to what they had to say. Hey, they played hard, but SDU, SDU for life, baby! Yeah. the team and the determination that they have you know what they played their hard outs all season we weren't even supposed to make it this Underdog far Underdog mentality baby you know, you know how we do and it we're just, we're just we glad they made it this far So again, a history making season for the Aztecs here tonight. They made the entire city proud and there's just really so much to be thankful for. Um, and there's always next season to look out for these fans I spoke to tonight. They say they'll be back and ready to cheer on their team next season. Back to you guys.